Did you know that approximately 35 million men and 21 million women suffer from hair loss? While hair transplants have become really popular in recent years as the most effective hair restoration method, here are 10 reasons why you should not have one. 1. Don't get a hair transplant if you want instant results. A hair transplant can never give you instant results. It takes between 12 and 18 months after the procedure to see good results. If you expect instant results, a hair transplant is definitely not for you. 2. If you have unrealistic expectations. Every hair transplant is different and each patient's results will be different. The density achieved with a hair transplant depends on a number of factors. The age of the patient, condition of the scalp, the density of the donor area, the quality of the grafts, the amount of hair loss at the time of the hair transplantation, and the patient's compliance with aftercare. 3. If you're young or it is too early in your hair loss. In the early stages of hair loss, it is still unclear what the pro process of hair loss may look like for you in the future. If you have a hair transplant during this initial hair loss period, further hair loss may occur, making the coverage look odd. Waiting a few years to have the procedure will allow the surgeon to make more informed decisions about where to place the transplanted hair. This can also be a reason why multiple hair transplants can be necessary over someone's life. Having said that, medical treatment for hair loss may be an option for you. This should be discussed with your primary care provider or hair transplant surgeon. 4. Don't have one if you feel pressured by the clinic, surgeon, or someone close to you to get a hair transplant. If someone close to you, whether a friend, family, or surgeon is putting pressure on you to change your appearance, do not get a hair transplant. You need to be the only person deciding if a hair transplant surgery is the journey or route you want to take. Five, if you can't afford it. Hair transplantation is not a cheap solution. When pushing your budget for the procedure, you will be more vulnerable. You might end up making poor judgments like opting for a cheaper surgeon who is not as experienced or qualified. 6. You haven't met the doctor. Depending on the clinic you go to, you may or may not meet the doctor during the initial consultations. Don't move forward with any procedures until you have met and sat with the doctor to discuss the surgery and the results you're looking for. You should feel comfortable with the doctor and they should be able to answer any questions you may have regarding the procedure. 7. Your doctor doesn't specialize in hair restoration. Hair restoration relies on a team of highly specialized technicians to assist the physician in dissection and placement of thousands of hairs on your head. Dermatologists and plastic surgeons are the primary hair restoration experts and you should seek out an office or clinic that is staffed with one of these professionals who does hair full-time. 8. If you're unwilling to do maintenance on your current hair. A hair transplant does not solve all your hair issues. If you've been suffering from hair loss and are not willing to put in the work to maintain your remaining hair, then the hair transplant procedure might not be for you. It is still important to maintain your current hair with various medical therapy options to ensure that your existing hair stays healthy and strong. At the very least, you want to slow down the inevitable thinning with medical therapies. 9. You have serious health complications. Although a hair transplant surgery is a relatively simple procedure that can yield amazing results, those who have chronic health issues like heart disease, kidney or liver failure, or even diabetes may not be suitable for such a surgery. You might need to consult your primary care physician or specialist to discuss the risks involved. Finally, 
do not have a hair transplant procedure if you are allergic to anesthesia, you have bloodborne diseases, or you have hemophilia. Local anesthesia is required to perform a hair transplant surgery. Therefore, those who suffer negative reactions to anesthesia or have medical conditions that don't allow them to receive anesthesia are not candidate for a hair transplant. A hair transplant can also not be done on people who have bloodborne diseases such as HIV and hepatitis C. And also, if you have hemophilia, which is a condition that limits the ability of the blood to clot, you might need to speak to your doctor. My name is Cess and I cover hair restoration topics. Watch the next video to see my hair transplant journey.